The podcast you are listening to of Holmberg's Morning Sickness is brought to you by my friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Trust me on this one. You've had barbecue before, but you haven't had it this good. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com. Eric's Family Barbecue has arrived and is simply the best barbecue in Arizona. Come satisfy your taste buds with meats that are smoked over mesquite wooden sides that are made with fresh ingredients and tons of love. They have the best, juiciest brisket, pulled pork, rib sausage, turkey, or everyone's favorite, the Pitmaster Sampler that includes all the meat and four sides, mac and cheese, potato salad, coleslaw, corn, or beans, yum. And for dessert, try some creamy banana pudding. Amazing! Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meat, mesquite, repeat. Make the trip, you won't be sorry. Dine in or take it to go. Go to Eric's Family Barbecue bbq.com for more info this man needs medical attention holmberg's morning sickness the old method of treatment for a person in this condition was to throw him in jail uh and uh i got an email brady from somebody who said here's what you need to know about your song for your 20th anniversary carrying brady around back in 1918 a boy named howard loomis was abandoned by his mother at father flanagan's home for boys which had opened just a year earlier. Howard had the polio and wore heavy leg braces. It was difficult for him, especially when he had to go up and down stairs. Soon, several of the, whole, of the home's older boys carried Howard up and down those stairs, much like you and Brady, John. One day, Father Flanagan asked Reuben Granger, one of the older boys, if Howard was, if it was heavy uh, carrying Howard. Is it, is it tough to carry Howard, he says. Is that hard? And Reuben replied, he ain't, he ain't heavy fodder. He's my brother. The road is long with many a wine. He's not fat. Well, he's sort of, but he's my brother. <laughs> Poor Howard. Nobody sings about that, how miserable it had to be for Howard. He get toted up and down stairs. He wouldn't even put in a ramp, for Christ's sake. Kid's got to get peeled out of a chair every night. And this is supposed to be a beautiful story. It sounds awful. All right, my neck, my back. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're one kid with polio, and everybody everybody else needs a you know a C five surgery at the end of the day because they're toting this fat kid around with an erector set around his feet. And that's where the song comes from. He's not heavy. He's my brother, and that's how I feel about Brady. And that's coming up in moments on Larry's show, The Hollies. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't heavy. Uh, it is brought to you, uh, this entertainment drill, by my friends at reactdefense.com, also celebrating their 20th anniversary uh, back in July. I believe on uh, uh, July something 12th or 14th, something like that, they opened up here in the Valley, and they've been going strong ever since, and there's a reason why. And not to pat ourselves on the back. And you do something for 20 years, and you do the same thing for 20 years, uh, and people keep paying to do that thing for 20 years, you're no joke. Ah, not everybody is good at that. WNBA is a perfect example. But most all things that last for 20 years uh, are doing it because they're doing something right. And that's no exception. ReactDefense.com. Uh, seen so many people in the similar industry of self-defense come and go. But the tactical black system lives on and is stronger each and every day because the people doing it know what they're doing. A family environment, great people uh, up and down. And the folks training there are also a special breed of people. It becomes a lifestyle. It becomes a friendship. It's almost like uh, going to a bar where you start to, you know, going nuts training. It's an, uh, an environment you just can't get anywhere else. So you can go to a gym, run on a treadmill, pick up heavy things, do whatever. That will eventually get boring. I've been doing this for a while now, and I have never left that place and said, well, that was boring. It is always exciting, and you get in great shape, and you learn a lot of stuff that you're going to need in this uh, day and age of uh, who knows what's coming around the corner. Never bad to have a few tools in the tool belt. So become a sheepdog. Don't be a sheep. Teach you how. ReactDefense.com, the home of Tactical Black, celebrating 20 years in Phoenix, Glendale, and Chandler. Brady, entertain me. My man TC, Tom Cruise, uh, surprised a family in England the other day. He was taking a helicopter over to a, he had a, a meeting to go to, and they ended up having to land in their backyard because – so much traffic was going on in the airport that he was supposed to land in. Couldn't take wow. him. That's so he got permission to land in their backyard. He did. From who? The family that somehow someone contacted the family said, yo, bro, we're going to land in your uh, backyard. They so, said, splendid. Hold on a tick. Yeah. That didn't happen. Uh, Brady. He landed and then he asked landed for permission. And asked for permission. Yeah. Tom Cruise got yeah. out of that helicopter. Nobody would. If your phone ever rang and you wouldn't rec- nobody. First off, no one answers an unrecognized phone number nowadays. Second, you'd be suspicious of a helicopter that's spinning around okay. your house. So a bunch. maybe Lies. they didn't contact the family, right? 
the fact that the Coventry Coventry Airport was totally shut down. They had needed a place to land. Right. So they landed. People had the And then later the property. said, sorry, love. But Tom they came Cruise out, needs they to go somewhere. Said the kids ran out there. Tom immediately went to the kids. How are you doing? And said, is it all right if I leave my copter here uh, because I got a meeting? You guys can take a ride in it in exchange for TC parking his sweet ride. He I'm calling BS. They, BS completely. Yeah. This is a PR move. They, they were inconvenienced. They landed in someone's yard and used celebrity to get around it. Well, all right, all right, everybody calm down. Now, what if I told you right now Tom Cruise is in that helicopter right there behind me? Get off my lawn, you son of a bitch. You can't just land your chopper wherever you want. It's Tom Cruise, for Christ's sake. Allison Webb said it was uh, surreal. An incredible day for my kids. You were mad at they first. fish and chips and a helicopter ride. I'm yes. going outside with an AR-15. I know it's England. They don't have them. I go outside with my hunting rifle. A helicopter starts landing in my yard. I'm like, no, 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 no. This ain't happening. Back up. We've got Tom Cruise. I don't care. On top of that, if they make a phone call, who, who's going to believe? Hey, I got Tom yeah. Cruise here. We're going to land in your yard. Uh, okay, right, pal. Hello, hello. Uh, who's this? Oh, we're a chopper going over your house right now. I got Tom Cruise. Love to land in your He's yard. He's on the telly. Hey, would you mind if we put a chopper in your garden? Well, I wouldn't mind that very much, thank you. I work hard on my garden. Well, we're going to do it anyway. Tom Cruise is in the chopper, and he's being inconvenienced. I don't care. I'm going to kill Tom Cruise today. Tom anyway, Cruise signed the lawn. He mowed his name <laughs> in the lawn. <laughs> That's a dick And then he move. told the kids to brush their teeth. <laughs> By the way, it's also a house so close to the airport, Tom Cruise is willing to walk to it. So it's more... What in the F's going on in our fair, governor? It's some poor <laughs> Cockney family. Is a chopper landing in our yard? Let's go raid it for parts and copper. <laughs> Showtime... Uh, finally admitted that they messed up the end of Dexter. Yeah, they did. But it's the that, jewel right? in, in their crown, and we didn't do it justice in the end. So now they're saying there's a possibility of a spinoff or a continuation of the new on the uh, new season that hasn't yeah. been ruled out officially, that they'll continue Oh, they'll on. keep going. Yeah. So they don't like how the new season ended either? No, they didn't like. They said, okay, you're right. The original ending was bad, Stunk. but we've got this new season coming out, and we're actually looking into maybe nope. doing a spinoff. No do-overs. Of that. It is what it is. Jason Momoa was being interviewed the other day and he's, uh, on the Late Show, and he said, I got a text four days ago from Dave Bautista. He says, uh, we need to do a buddy cop film. Uh, how about if we do it in Hawaii? It's a go. <laughs> he says, I'm in. That's all it takes. Yeah, he says, well, Dave loves wearing Speedos. I love wearing board shorts. And with the, both of our shirts Perfect. off, he, he'll be grumpy. I'll be saying, boom, Perfect. what's a better film? Scott Haynes is right. He goes, did Brady just do a story that says Tom Cruise got permission to buzz the tower? Yes. <laughs> I think he did. I think that's exactly right. Permission to buzz the garden. Brett Tony Hawk did a limited edition skateboard with his actual blood in the paint. Yeesh. But it sold Yeesh. out. Oh, I'm sure it did. Yeah. Well, Kiss did that back in the day with their comic books. Supposedly. Herschel that Walker. That was before DNA. I DNA test my Kiss book and find out that that's food coloring. <laughs> How about this one? Uh, John Cleese is making a documentary about cancel culture. Oh, that'll be fun. Should be pretty solid. Another one on Showtime's Yellow Jackets. It's about women coming to terms with what they had to do to survive when their high school soccer players, they were... In high school, and they were soccer players. Their plane crashed in the wilderness. What? It's almost like a teenage survivor. Wait a minute. There was a wait a minute. Now girls are common during the or high school soccer hold players. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. You, because the the famous story of soccer players crashing in the Andes. Yeah. And now we got the Amelia Earhart version. Yep. I don't. I'm not interested. Hot teens. Well, that's different. Are they hot, <laughs> sexy lesbian soccer players? I think players? that's how they're selling it. Like, and maybe they, you know. And they end up eating each other. Oh, Brady. It's got something to it, John. That's all. <laughs> wow. Although I've seen the USA soccer team, and I don't want to watch them eat each other at all. Even though they probably... They said ni- they survived 90 days with Hope Solo. Oh, God. Ugh. They slept in there. And we understand. Um, Megan the Stallion got the law involved because of her record label was trying to block the release that she has of uh, Butter, a remake, a remix of BTS's song. They claimed it would be bad for her career. She thinks 
They were just trying to shake her down for more money. The judge ruled in her favor. So you're going to get mix this the Friday. Megan the Stallion has already stolen from the Korean kids? Yes. No kidding. They just showed up. <laughs> Would you get them at the airport? Oh, she looks like she ate a lot of butter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Song's fitting. Is the song called Butter? <laughs> yeah. That's what he said. <laughs> Yeah, Megan the Stallion is not going to not sample the butter. <laughs> that's funny. All right, uh, that's it. Let's get the heck out of here. Uh, all done. Thanks to Ryan Bader today for showing up. And uh, also, here's Larry. Uh, he's going to open it up with the Hollies. Yes. Yes. Maybe not all of it. I bet you Larry bails out early. Uh, but that's it. Larry will have another word for you about 11 o'clock. And uh, get ready to crash the app once again. It's just the way it works around here. It's 98 KUPD. Have yourself a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. So long. Pathetic. 98. That's it. That's bonkers. You've been listening to Holmberg's Morning Sickness Podcast brought by our friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet. Mesquite. Repeat. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com.